Perhaps I could introduce you briefly to the history behind clay pigeon shooting. A gentleman by the name of George Ligovsky, who I believe was a Polish-American, invented a spinning frisbee, and he christened it a clay pigeon. And your task is to try and hit this whilst it is in flight. So all a shotgun is, but it's a king-size pea shooter. I've never chased the mine. A flash of flame ignites the gunpowder, which turns immediately into gas. The gas is compressed and it is trapped behind the wad. And the gases push the wad and the shot out down the barrel and out of the end. By this time, these pellets are now travelling at around about a thousand miles an hour. The, the, the charge of the light brigade, the leading horses are hitting that clay and then eventually the pellets are travelling so fast, the clay becomes a ball of dust. There are four cornerstones to the foundation of learning how to shoot well. The first, of course, is safety. Indeed, we have a phrase which we drum into people and make sure they remember it. The only safe gun is an open gun. When we come to pick up a shotgun, it's very important that we make sure that we don't point the muzzles at anybody. The hand obeys the eye. Now, I can look at you and point straight at you. A shotgun is a pointing tool. There are no sights on shotguns. Indeed, if I'm right-handed, it is my right eye that must be sitting vertically and laterally correct on top of the shotgun. If I mount my gun correctly, my eye-rib relationship is correct, the gun will shoot straight. When novices hit their first clay and see it disappear into a ball of dust, it's quite a thrilling experience. Take my place in the